things come through us. We're sort of, that's, that's the funnel, that's the introduction, the grand inspiration, the idea comes through us. to toys. I mean, I, I am a dumpster, I, dumpster diver for the most part. I guess not too bad. I haven't gotten into any garbage bins. Basically, I ended up after my mom had passed with this shoe box of things. Mm -hmm. Also, at the same time, having collected so many things over the years, one piece led to another, and it became the biggest kind of platform or canvas I'd ever had to work with. It ended up being the core for this thing that had become as big as I was. I think I had mentioned to you that um, when she was dying, when she was in her coma um, state, oh, nearly, but out of it, but she was still kind of moving around and she would, well, so she was kind of in and out of consciousness. She wasn't actually comatose at that point completely. But she was making the gestures like she was sewing something and we asked her what she was sewing and she said she was working on her cloak. And then her friend, um, who was a nurse, had told me at the time that that was actually something she'd seen before that a lot of women would do when they were near death. They would start making these gestures like they're sewing or knitting or crocheting. And so it became very significant doing all the sewing at that year after she died. And I kind of holed up after that. Very talented and and definitely a ham. So and um, she would walk into a room and possess it, and, uh, <laughs> which is where we very much differ, I think, because she was always so outspoken, and I end up being really shy, and I start retreating in the crowd, or I have to I have to put on some sort of a mask of who I am when I'm in a crowd. But she was always seemed comfortable in her skin more than anybody I think I've ever known, probably most. doing something like that, the movement, around that piece, um, and, and using my mom's scarves as well that she used to use in her dance therapy work, workshops, 
in, in, in sessions. I felt, I felt like she was definitely there, and we had talked about that even, just kind of calling her down. Um, it was very, it was very guttural. It was, it was just, it wasn't, the cerebral part was when I started processing it and started getting overwhelmed with emotions actually kind of com coming up from the chest and processing it and just um, feeling, I don't know, you know, overwhelmed and, and really missing her and because you never get away from missing. after my mom died for a really long time even even though I was sewing in the beginning and feeling it, it helped me deal with it I felt like I was drowning for so long I was basically on my own that year and I was crying every day and I didn't I felt like I was drowning I felt like I was half dead and it just you know, it was more like I just I felt like I was drowning and I was I was. I was just so... I was lost. I lost my way. 